Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. We're covering all of the 6.4 goodness that was added in this lovely patch. And the first thing that I want to look at in this video is the new improved, I would say, quote unquote, glamour system. So previously, as you know, they incorporated the glamour dresser system, which has glamour plates of which you can choose a glamour plate and then you assign that to items that you store inside the glamour dresser up to a maximum of 800 currently at the time of this recording and then you can also switch between the armoire as well so for any of your event items seasonal stuff that kind of stuff um you can you can find that here one thing it does not have the capability of doing though is accessing your retainers so in this patch they decided that they would incorporate that feature However, they can't incorporate it to the Glamour Dresser for reasons I don't know. They're obviously technical reasons with some game limitations. Hopefully they can address that in the future, however, because I think the Glamour system through the Dresser makes more sense because it already links to two places. But for whatever reason, it doesn't link to the third. So the way that Glamour works from a retainer in patch 6.4 is you have to come to an in room you cannot do this anywhere else in the world so even if you see a retainer bell this will not work you summon the retainer via the bell so let's say i choose leon halsos which is obviously leon um and then what we would do is we can either bring up our character menu from pc and glamour from here by right clicking the item pressing cast glamour then clicking on a drop down to go to equipped by retainer or the a retainer's inventory. That's the long way of doing it. Um, however, summoning the retainer. So we would click the cast glamours button at the bottom and this will automatically load up this. Default, it will say base equipped by retainer for me. So what you need to do is scroll up and quick click on your equipped loadout. So this is the stuff uh, I have equipped on my character, then change the second drop down to equipped by retainer, retainer inventory. Uh, so we'll click on an item and then we can change the mandible knife, for example, to blade subtlety like that. So either way you see this, um, it's a bit of a faff. But on this drop down, you can also access everything in your inventory, armory, chest, uh, and equipped that you could use for that slot, for example. Um, in your retainer and retainer's inventory, your glamour dresser can be accessed this way as well. So it's like as if you would open the glamour dresser. So anything you'd registered, including the dies, so such as these varsity shoes that I put in there, are already dyed jet black die. If we cast that, then automatically they would be applied with the die to my character's feet, etc. So let's uh, also show you the armoire is also accessible. So if I wanted the Tombri hands. I could also do that. So it's a cool idea, but I do think that this is personally, in my opinion, a step backwards, uh, mostly just because of how many menus need to be opened, right? If we compare the features, if you come into an in-room, you go to a glamour dresser, you click the button, you click on the plates, you assign a plate, and then you press a button to toggle from the source that you're putting an item onto your plate from, right? Simple as that. And then you'd save it. Whereas with this system, uh, I don't know, I'm not a fan. Retainer bell, summoning the, the actual thing, going through that. And just in case you're wondering as well, you cannot, uh, even if you're in the in-room, which is how they originally explained this, by the way, as far as I can tell with the translation, was that you cannot just go to Glamours and choose Equipped by Retainer, because you can only use this feature when you've summoned a retainer. So you physically have to summon the retainer into the room before you can access their glamour system. Like this. I suppose one of the best things about this isn't actually for your own personage. It's actually the fact that your retainer can immediately be, um, you know, equipped with stuff from your glamour dresser or whatever it might be, which saves you having to do that. But for your own character, I still think there's a lot of room for improvement. But that's how the system works. I think it's a little bit complicated, uh, honestly. 
Whereas this system was a lot more straightforward. Big, bold buttons that had been designed. You know, someone had, had been, been paid to create this beautiful UI. You had storage. Yes, it had a limitation. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter because you had just this easily visually, res um, you know, respective windows as well. So you could instantly identify something without having to hover over it. And this lovely little hover over icon with this sort of like brass border around it tells you if something is died or not. I think this feature works so much better. You know, even with the armoire system, at least you can find things that way. Whereas with a retainer system, I think they definitely need to look and overhaul that in the future. But that's just my opinion. You might love this system, but I think it's got a long way to go. And I'm excited to see what they do. And presumably they'll do something, hopefully in 7.0 or 8.0 at least, to address this and make it a little bit more streamlined and more kind of simple to access. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the, the new Glamour system uh, in 6.4. If you're a fan or if you kind of think it's a bit meh. And I'll see you all next time for more 6.4 goodness. Bye bye.